All there right, Amber, go. let's talk about our, our traveling, because if you are driving this morning, I mean, when Fernando just came in, he lives in the South Bay, one of our coworkers, he said it was extremely windy, yes. so you really have to be careful when driving mm -hmm. this morning. Yeah, I heard him, he said right when he opened his door, he said he just felt this big wind gust. So what, wow. what were we talking about? Uh, Kalina, you said the new... Nine and three. Nine and three, it's not I ten and two anymore. I think earlier Chris did ten or twelve no, and seven and or something. I don't know so what he was, he was doing, doing a sharp nine turn. And yes. All right, so, bad, here, so here's a quick look <laughs> at your travel alerts. Gusty, and use extra caution this morning if you are heading out the door, especially with your high profile vehicles because we are talking about these high wind warnings and also wind advisories across Southern California. Take a look at our weather alert. So everything that you see in red, this is where we're seeing some of the strongest, most damaging winds, everything in tan. That's where we have our wind advisories. And this is the reason why we have all these strong gusts really pushing in. And then probably within the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to start to see these winds get stronger and stronger over a course of the next few hours. So we do have these double digit wind gusts, 43 mile per hour gusts for the Lancaster area, 27 for Santa Clarita. This is all just within uh, the last few minutes. 18 for Simi Valley, 22 for Camarillo, 25 for Malibu. So you can see right along the coast, we're really starting to see those winds picking up. And this is that South Bay area uh, that our coworker Fernando was telling us about. And then up in the mountains, we are starting to see those purples pop up. So even stronger gusts, especially over some of our mountaintops. All right, so the next weather headline, strong winds, cold temperatures. We have these peak winds that are expected to take place anywhere from 6 to 9 a.m. this morning. And then during this time, as that cold front pushes through Southern California, it's going to lower our snow levels down to as low as 3,500 feet. So if we do start to see snow falling with those gusty winds, it could cause zero visibility. So just give yourself some extra time, especially if you're driving up toward the mountains. High surf coastal flood advisories because we have those bigger than normal tides today and those big waves. And we're looking at high tide taking place uh, just after eight this morning. So this is where the system is at the moment. That cold front is still working its way through the state. But you can see we're already feeling those wind gusts. So those winds get stronger and stronger over the course of the next couple of hours. So you can see that we're seeing the strong winds right along the coast. And then a lot of it starts to filter inland. And then it's going to start to push a little bit more to the west. So you can see some of our foothill communities. And it works its way into downtown LA and then into the valley. So we're looking at Simi Valley starting to see some stronger winds later this morning. And then the winds begin to relax once we head into the second half of the day. Still breezy, just not as strong as what we're dealing with now. And then by Friday, it's going to be a lot quieter because the system is going to be out of here. Our extended forecast shows that our temperatures will pretty much stay in the 60s for the next few days with below average conditions for LA and Orange County. Not as windy as we head into Friday because that system is not here anymore. But then there could be another system, a smaller one, a weaker one, late Saturday into Sunday that's going to provide more wind than rain. And then by the time we head into the start of next week, high pressure builds in and we are looking at the return of 70 degree weather for a lot of places on Tuesday, but for LA and Orange County, we're going to see it on Wednesday. All right, Chris and Kalina.